Hello everybody, my name is Cool Blue, and I'm bringing you guys yet another video of me playing a board game. Uh, today I'll be playing Jump Drive, and <laughs> hopefully I can record this without my camera freaking out. I was having focus issues earlier, but I think we got that all sorted out. But this is a Jump Drive, pretty uh, straightforward board game, small board game, relatively speaking. And uh, the cool thing about it is that there's a solo campaign that somebody created a while ago, uh, back in 2017. Uh, and they'll be linked in the description below if you want to follow along. But I'm going to be playing through the solo campaign to see how I do. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, as far as the game is concerned, I'll go ahead and explain a little bit about how the game is played. So let me get all this out of the way. And uh, then we'll go into explaining the campaign and then we'll go into actually playing the game. So as far as the game is concerned, um, what I do is um, I, on my turn I'll be playing some cards. Uh, either playing one card or two cards or doing a different action and those cards these are the cards we're playing they have a few different pieces of information on top of them uh the first thing is there's planets or oh sorry all oh, these are planets sorry uh there's planets and there's also um developments which is the diamond so basically this is the cost to actually play the card so this costs one this costs five this costs four this costs uh, well we'll talk about that in a second a little bit different um, and another thing too is that there's um, victory points that you'll get at the end of the round so this all stacks on top of each other so in this case um, I would get two victory points per galactic trendsetters this is a galactic trendsetter so I get two points to start off with so if I get two of those and I get four per and then you know it, it rolls on based on that um, for this guy I'll get four victory points at the end of the uh, round as you can see noted by the four there this one I get zero this one I get zero and the last is the card income. Card income is the very last symbol. That's how many cards I'll draw based on that. And some card, so in this case, I'll get two cards. In this case, I'll get one card. And some cards have special effects, like this one right here is listed with a special effect uh, that will do certain things. So that's how that goes. And last but not least, we have the military card. So the military card, which is this red card, they basically count um, as settling cards. So instead of paying cards, I have to have that much military or better to actually have that card placed down. So that's kind of how kind of how all that works. Uh, and the military is represented by the pluses here. There's ways that you can get military from cards that are not military cards, uh, which I cannot find one right now. Uh, but trust me, they exist. Oh, here we go, here's one. So I can do stuff like play, or if I have enough military amongst my cards, which is a little bit difficult to do sometimes, depending on what kind of uh, cards get dealt. Um, but that's kind of how that works. So cool, all right. So that is the <laughs> quick quick and scrappy rules of uh, Jump Drive. As far as the turn flow, as far as the game flow, on my turn, I will be playing one or two cards. Uh, if I play one card, I will get a special benefit. If I play two cards, then I don't get a special benefit um, outside of playing two cards. Um, I can play either one development or I can play one planet. So I can play one diamond card or one circle card. And the cost of things will depend on the card so if I play a single diamond my special benefit is I reduce the cost by one if I play a single planet the special benefit is that I get after I pay for everything I get a card draw a free card draw if I play both if I play a diamond and a circle or diamond or planet and a diamond uh, then the only benefit I get is I get I got to play two cards so the pay full cost of everything so cool, that's how it goes. So as far as the campaign is concerned, um, I will be playing the campaign, and the campaign goes like this. This is the campaign I'll be playing through, which is campaign number one. And at the end of each round, I'll play seven seven turns total. And at the end of each, uh, um, I guess, game, I'll, play, I'll be playing four games total, hopefully, uh, if I do well. Um, and each game consists of four, seven rounds. Um, at the end of each game, I will check to see if I've achieved any of these conditions, which these conditions are to either, um, you know, have a great victory, reach 60 points, military victory, reach 50 points, um, and have plus eight military in my final empire, um, peaceful victory, reach 50 points in game with zero military or played contact specialist uh, during the first four turns. And last is discover, uh, which is reach 45 points in the game in which you explored at least once. So those are the four victory conditions. And I'll explain some of that terminology as I go along. So let's go and get started. First thing I do is I draw seven cards. I'm gonna put this here. So I got seven cards in my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. 
And like I said, hopefully my camera doesn't lose its focus and go out of whack. Um, ooh, these cards in order. Ah. So I draw seven cards, and then I'm going to take these seven cards and put my trash over there. And uh, I'm going to discard two of these cards, and I'm going to start playing the game. Now to denote, because I'm playing solo, to denote this, the rounds, I'm going to use these tokens, which also count as the explore token. So, ooh, okay, I think that's my focal point. That might be why. Yeah, camera freaks out a little bit. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep my eye on that, make sure it's not doing anything super weird. Um, yeah, hopefully my focus doesn't mess up too much here. Because um, uh, it hurts the eyes. So basically, I'm, I'm going to discard uh, two cards, like I mentioned before, down to five. And I'm going to use these to keep track of my rounds. I have seven of these. And these also double as the explore action. The explore action is just the kind of an action that you take to where you can just draw cards. Um, another special action I can take is just the um, build this, the survey team card. Um, it's kind of a wasted action. You really don't want to do it if you don't have to. But I have, I can do that at least once. I can do that up to once, I should say, during this entire game. So looking at my cards that I have here, um, I think I can have a pretty decent setup for, uh, for some pretty powerful turns. So I'm going to get rid of Galactic Saloon because it costs way too much for me to even consider right now. Um, and I'm also going to get rid of, hmm, okay, um, I'll, I'll hold on to com Colony Convoy because that allows me to basically pay two less for a planet and discard it. That could be worth something. Uh, might be worth it to play that a little bit later. Um, I think among these cards, I'm going to get rid of the uh, consumer market stacks pretty well, and so does investment credits. Ugh, uh, these choices suck. I guess I'm getting rid of. Oof. All right, I, mm. I'm going to get rid of. Ah, uh, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> the AP's kicking in already. Oh gosh. I am going to make the definitive choice and get rid of one of my diamonds or one of my developments since I have nothing but developments here. And I'm going to get rid of, I guess, this development since I'm kind of flirting with the idea that I'm going to go for greens since I'm holding on to that. All right. So there we go. So I got my cards. And now I will start playing the round. So um, I'll show you guys how I do up the rounds in a second. But the very first card I'm going to play is I'm going to play a single diamond. Uh, yep, I'm going to play a single diamond. So because I'm playing only a diamond this round, it's going to reduce the cost by one because I'm playing only a development. So that's going to be it. So I pay zero cards. So I discard zero cards to do that. I don't draw any cards, but I discard zero cards. And uh, this symbol, so now we're at the end of the round. So that's my turn. I do this to denote that I played that turn. Now, like I said, I have seven rounds total. Um, now I will get income or victory points. In this case, I get one whole victory point. So yay, I'm on my way to winning. <laughs> now I go to round two. Round number two, uh, I am going to play, I feel, I feel like I need to get moving because I don't want to be waiting too long to do things, but I am going to go ahead and take a moment to play the robot replicate. So it's going to cost me uh, three because I'm playing only a development. I'm going to reduce the cost by one, and because I have investment credits, I'm going to reduce the cost by one again. So I pay one whole card. So I will throw away one card for that card, and that will be this one. So I'm going to throw away that, and that's it. Um, now I get income, which this is uh, three, so I get three points total. So there we go. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Um, I don't remember which goal I'm going to go for, but given that I have no battle right now, I can try to go for great victory. Or, or maybe even Peaceful Victory. Uh, so Peaceful Victory is uh, if I reach... Well, I'll show you over here. Uh, so I can try to go for the Great Victory. Uh, great Victory is uh, reach 60 points. Just straight up for 60 points. Or I can try to go for Peaceful Victory, which is uh, 50 points in a game with zero military. Or if I play Contact Specialist during my first four turns. Uh, or alternatively, I can try to go for the last one which is discover, reach 45 points in a game in which I explored at least once. So explore is when I take an action to do um, just drawing some cards. So I'm, I'm going to choose not to uh, commit fully to anything yet, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I have five rounds left. 
And I think now's the time, of course, to play the Ancient Races card. And actually, I can play both. No, no, because if I'm going for Peaceful Victory, I don't want to play this then. So I'm going to go ahead and play this card, which is Ancient Races. Uh, this is going to cost me two cards. Notice I only have one card, but because I have uh, Replicate Robots, it's going to cost me two less to make a planet. So it's going to cost me two less to put that out here. And that's it. So now I do Income or Victory Points, and I get four points. So I will take a five, put back a one. And then I get cards, and this time I finally get cards because this gives me cards. So I get two cards. Two new cards. Cool, cool, good stuff. All right, and then we keep moving. So I got four rounds left to <laughs> get some sense of uh, direction here. Hmm. I don't really like my cards all that much. Uh, they're not going to be doing a whole bunch for me. So I think it's a little bit late to try to go for the military victory. This is me looking at the campaigns, and I actually keep this to the side here. Well, I won't keep it to the side just in case I get like a message or something, but um, I think it's a little bit too late for me to try to go for the military victory. Uh, hopefully it's, it's uh, clear for you guys. So, yeah, because I need eight whole battle, and I, the most I can get right now is two, possibly three. I don't think I can get that fast enough with how slow my card income is. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and attempt to go for discover. So I'm going to go ahead and use an explore action to draw cards. And what this means is I get 3 eyes. So it gives me 3 eyes. And then I check my cards for any other eyes that I have out here, which I have 0. Note that this is the eye that I'm referring to right here. So if I had more cards out here with eyes on them, I would be able to do stuff. But I, sadly I don't. Um so I get 3 eyes and then I draw that many cards. So I draw Cards equal to the number of eyes, and then I, uh, sorry, two cards plus the number of eyes, and then I discard equal to the number of eyes. So I draw five cards. So this is one, two, three, four, five. All right, and these five cards are looking pretty. Oh, oh, actually, I can go for military victory. I might be able to go for military victory. It's gonna get to fifty points. I mean, with drop ships out here and how cheap it is for me to actually make developments I don't know I don't know this is a little challenging uh, oof. I really need points though uh, man this is a lot to consider right now so I can only keep two cards I'm going to keep the drop ships and I'm also going to take the war propaganda. So in a solo game, they're going to always assume that my opponent has at least one battle, at least one uh, a military. And that's for the purposes of cards like war propaganda, which war propaganda, before you score any points, whoever has the most... Oh, <laughs> got showing up pretty, pretty strange. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, so whoever has the most victory or whoever has the most military will get this card. So the game always assumes that my opponent has at least one, um, but I always have more in the event of uh, checking for that. So uh, that was turn number four. Man, I'm running out of turns. I have three turns left to do this. All right, so so we're kind of committed to going for the military victory, so I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, oh, right, sorry. At the end of that, I'm going to collect my uh, points, so I get four more points. Cool. All right. Whew, looking pretty, looking pretty dire. Um, I think I need to go for drop ships. Otherwise, I'm gonna be wasting time. So I need to go for drop ships, and I need more cards. Oh, speaking of which, before I do that, draw two cards from this guy too. That helps me out a lot. That actually helps me out a whole lot. Um, but yeah, it looks like I'm going for military because I have nothing but military cards down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the. Hmm. Yes, yeah, gives me more points right now. I need points. So I'm going to go for the uh, drop ships. And it's going to cost me two cards total. So I'm playing only a development right now because it's all I can really play. So it's going to be reduced by one. It's going to be reduced by another one because of that card. So I'm going to be paying two cards total. I'm going to get rid of this card. And I'm also going to get rid of... I think both of these cards are I'm okay with. I don't really care. They're, they're both relatively the same point-wise. Cool, so that's the end of that. And now we check my points, and I get six points now. So I'm going to take a 10. Oh, 
Okay, let's not do that. I'm just going to take a 5 and a 1. So not looking pretty, not looking too good yet. <laughs> looking pretty dire. Got uh, two whole turns left. So in this turn, I definitely need to do a development and I also need to do a planet because I need to speed this up. So the cool thing about this game is it does ramp up pretty fast, meaning that you go from scoring nothing at all to scoring all the points at the same time. Uh, speaking of which, uh, so, so just to give you guys a kind of example of that, I'm going to play this Space Marines and I'm also going to play uh, Rebel Underground. So because I'm playing two cards in one turn, um, I essentially don't get the bonus of drawing a card for playing a planet and I do not get the bonus of reducing this by one, but I do still get to reduce by one because of this guy. And uh, sadly, this planet kind of goes to waste because it only counts for non-military planets. But I only pay one card total for this entire turn. And I think I'm going to get rid of... Ooh, that's tough. I'm going to be drawing three cards. So I, ca I can risk getting rid of this card. Mainly because this gives me more points. Alright. And now we check the points. Uh, <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting close. So six... Uh, seven, eight, nine. So I get nine points. So I'll take a ten, put it back a one. And card income, I get two, three. So I get three cards. One, two, three. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't think I got this. It's not looking like I got it. Let's see. How many points do I need for? Oh, so I need either enough military. So I need either 60 points or I need 8 military plus 50 points. And I currently have 3, 4, 5. Not looking too good. Can I get more military? I cannot get more military. Contact specials, which is this card, was not played within the first four turns, so I cannot count it for the peaceful victory. Um, we're still shooting for discovery. Um, I've explored. So that's my only chance I got. So this is 10, 20, 25, 26, 27. So I have 27 points. I'm going to get nine points already from the board. I think if I did my math right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, nine. So this means that I need to score in this last turn. I need to score 13 points if I'm doing my math right. I don't think I did my math right. Hold on. <laughs> math is hard. Uh, 10, 20, 27 to 45. Whoa, my brain. Um, yeah, I, th I think, oh no, 13. I need 18 points. So I need nine more points. The only way I think I can even come close to that is by getting the deserted alien laboratory out, which is worth six points right now. But that's not looking too, uh, too doable. So I think... <laughs> Starting off with the very first campaign, y'all, I think I lost. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play War Propaganda and um, this other card. So this one's going to cost Battle, or Military, which I have five military so I can afford it. And this one's going to cost me two cards normally, but because I have this, it's going to reduce by one. So I'm going to reduce by one, and I'm going to pay the Contact Specialist for it. What good he's done me. And... We're just going to add up the points and see if I won, which I don't think I did. I don't think I got it. So this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 12, 13, 10, 1, 2, 3. And that's it. That is the seventh round. 10, 20, 30. Uh, ooh, so close. 40. Yep. Yep. My math was right. I'm five points off from getting a Explorer victory. And I think it was mainly because I took too long to actually switch my strategies. I was kind of hesitating there towards the uh, this part. I felt like a wasted turn. So yeah, so that's basically it. Um, I lost the campaign. <laughs> I lost the whole campaign. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this video here. Um, but I am going to go ahead and record another video. So I got two videos. And I'll see if I can do better in the second campaign I'm going to try. But as you guys can see, the game is pretty crunchy, pretty fast, ramps up pretty fast. Uh, it seemed pretty dire at a certain point. And then uh, all of a sudden it came became a potential victory. Sadly, though, I didn't have the right cards. I didn't have the right uh, draws. And it just didn't work out for me. So that's basically it. That's Jump Drive. 
So once again, I'm just playing through the Jump Drive campaign. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, I would highly recommend getting this game if you can find it. I don't know if it's in print right now. Um, I got this game a few years ago. Um, but I would definitely recommend it. Pretty fun game, especially if you enjoy Race for the Galaxy or Roll for the Galaxy. Um, highly recommended. And uh, that's basically it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and record a second video to see if I can do better in a campaign. If I can't, then I'll just call it a night and go to bed. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you guys whenever.